In the heart of the tropics, where the sun shines bright and life flourishes, a hidden battle rages beneath the surface. This is the world of Plasmodium, dot the microscopic parasite responsible for malaria, a disease that has shaped human history. It all begins with a bite. Plasmodium is a parasite that has two hosts, the female Anopheles mosquito and human. When an infected female Anopheles mosquito feeds on the blood of its host, it pours in his blood the infective stage to human that is called sporozoites. Sporozoites have a chromosomal number, N. Sporozoites move to the liver, where they make two cycles of asexual reproduction. Their nuclei divide many times by schizogony, giving several merozoites that are also N. Merozoites migrate to blood-infecting red blood cells. Inside red blood cells, merozoites pass several cycles of asexual reproduction, producing a huge number of merozoites. Each cycle inside red blood cells take about two days. At this time, symptoms appear on the patient due to destruction of red blood cells and formation of toxic substances. From these symptoms, fever, chilling, and heavy sweating. Gametocytes arise from merozoites inside red blood cells. Then when another healthy mosquito sucks the blood of the infected person, gametocytes move towards the stomach of the mosquito where they form mature gametes. Sexual reproduction takes place inside the mosquito's stomach where gametes fuse forming zygote. Zygote 2N transforms in an Ukinet. Remember that only zygote and Ukinet are 2N, while all other stages in the plasmodium life cycle are N. Ukinet penetrates the stomach wall and divides meiotically, producing oocyst, N. Oocyst divides mitotically by sporogony, producing large number of sporozoites, N that move towards the mosquito's salivary gland to be ready for human infection and repeating the cycle again.